Hey everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge, and this is Piggy Skin Picks, where I pick the winners and losers of the upcoming NFL week. This week, on week number 16, we are getting close, boys and girls. We only got two weeks of football left, three full days of football, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The only sporting event going on in Christmas fucking Eve is the goddamn football game. God bless America! All right, let's I, as as I got that out of the way. Let's get to the fucking picks. And you know, I'm not saying that as a joke. It is awesome that we have football on Monday, where no other sports playing. Great fucking work, America. Great fucking work. Now, today, today, Saturday, the Washington Redskins will head over to Tennessee against the Tennessee Titans. I think Tennessee's going to easily win this. Uh, Washington, come on. Wh wh why are we even talking about them? They're they're done. They're fucking done. They're dead. They're fucking dead. And Tennessee is looking pretty good. And honestly, man, that AFC South, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. It's a three-horse race now uh, between the Titans, the Texans, and the Colts. Now, I know people don't want the Colts to go back. I know people don't fucking... Like Andrew, like, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it is. But the Titans will have something to say about it with Marcus Mariota and the gang. But I definitely see Tennessee winning this game. Now, the Baltimore Ravens take on the L.A. Chargers today as well in L.A. What a way to rhyme. I will pick the Chargers. Uh, the Chargers are looking real good. And honestly, with what's going to... I believe what with what's going to happen in... During the weekend's fixtures, I definitely foresee the Chargers. If they win this game, I could definitely see them taking the AFC just outright. I think they can definitely just um, dominate that AFC conference. They have looked incredible. As for Baltimore, they do look decent, but you got a rookie quarterback. I don't know if that defense is going to be able to hold up. Uh, Phillip Rivers pretty much on, you know, fantasy juice steroids holy crap philip rivers is looking awesome and you got all this all these pieces i believe melvin gordon is back and defense is spectacular for the chargers so i think the chargers will take that one no problem now let's move on to the sunday games tampa bay buccaneers will head to dallas against the cowboys i think the cowboys are gonna win this how about them boys well you know the cowboys slipped up the last two games and Obvious for obvious reasons, they, you know, they just kind of got arrogant, and I think playing at home against the much weaker squad, Dallas is going to look to dominate. Dallas is going to look to Zeke to run the fucking ball. They're going to look at Dak and say, "Can you fucking pass a goddamn ball?" Defense is going to do their work and make Tampa Bay look inept as fuck. They're going to make Jameis Winston. Pretty much an interception machine is what I imagine. So I, I say Dallas taking that one, no problem. Minnesota versus Detroit Lions at Detroit. Don't be surprised, boys and girls. I'm going to go with the upset here. I think Detroit is going to win this game outright. Um, maybe by a field goal by at the last 10 seconds. And really, it's I just don't have any confidence in Minnesota. I really don't. And Detroit, this being a divisional game, I think they're going to play... For scraps they are absolutely playing for scraps but this is kind of a self-esteem game for them i believe and minnesota it just they just don't look right they just don't and kirk cousins off the tail end of any season is kind of like woo, he just washes away and i don't think minnesota is getting to the fucking playoffs i just don't i don't see them you know getting that win to get them there I know their whole destiny is in their own hands. I just don't see them making the playoffs. Now, let's move on to Atlanta versus Carolina. Atlanta's going to win this game. Uh, Cam Newton has been uh, announced to be out for the foreseeable future with a shoulder injury. So that team is dead. That team is absolutely dead. And don't be surprised if that head coach is gone after this season. As for Atlanta, there's nothing to really say about him. Like, the, the fucking NFC South is a dud. That, that division became a dud as soon as Atlanta became injured first three weeks of the season. Carolina choked four fucking games in a row. And Tampa Bay being Tampa Bay with no fit magic. Right, you kill the magic, you sick bastards. So I can definitely see Atlanta taking that one in Carolina, no problem. Now, Houston versus Philadelphia. This is the curious one because you have both squad. I, I believe Houston, yes, looks good on paper. 
But there's something really iffy about that team. I feel like that team in a playoff setting or in a, in a pressure setting, that team will implode. With that being said, I'm going to pick the Philadelphia Eagles. Nick Foles. You know, he might not be the... He might not be Dan Marino. He's not, he's no Elway. But you know, you know what Nick Foles is? He's a goddamn Super Bowl by MVP! Got some shit on my nose. Gotta clear that out. But listen. Listen. Nick Foles. Playoff Nick Foles. You, you bring on playoff mode Nick Foles? Oh my god. Playoff Nick Foles is basically the equivalent of, I would imagine, a, a dude with a big dick. Great fucking body, but the ugliest fucking face. He will fuck like it's no one's business, but no one's really going to look at him. And that's essentially Nick Foles. And Nick Foles will carry the Eagles to fucking victory this week. I believe it against the Texans. So let's see how that goes. Now, the New York Giants will head to New York or wherever fucking New Jersey technically uh, against Actually, no, it's in Indianapolis. What the fuck am I talking about? Okay, so the Giants will be heading to Indianapolis to face the Indianapolis Colts, and I think the Colts are going to win this. Did you guys know that the Colts are on this crazy, crazy run this season? Did you guys know that? Yeah, the Colts have been looking spectacular. I think Andrew Luck is... I mean, Andrew Luck's been back. He's absolutely been back, and for anybody to suggest otherwise, it's foolish. It's absolutely foolish. You're either a hater or an idiot. I don't know which one. But Andrew Luck is looking great. I think that team... Here's, here's, my, here's my crazy prediction. I think the second wild card for the AFC is definitely going to be the Colts. Something about the Colts this season looks good. Frank Reich, he's the right head coach. And for the Giants... <sighs> That's all, folks. Now, Cincinnati... Versus Cleveland. Cleveland! This is for you! Cleveland's going to win this. No fucking problem. Baker Mayfield, the god. Easy. Easy money. That's all I'm going to say. Baker, money, Mayfield, motherfuckers. Easy fucking money. Now, let's move on to the next game. Buffalo versus New England. New England. Buffalo, Buffalo sucks. All right, like just, just face it, guys. You, you guys are terrible. All right, you're never, you're never gonna beat the Patriots, you know, in the foreseeable future. And just embrace it. If I'm wrong in this shit, I, ooh, fuck me then. I'm wrong. But you guys are terrible. As for New England, yeah, Brady looks old. Uh, how many times have we had to hear that? Brady's old. He got. Brady will still probably be in the AFC Championship. He'll probably still be in the AFC Championship game. So you guys are fucking idiots. If you're if you're still doubting the man, I don't I don't know what else to tell you. You guys are fucking morons. Let's move on to the next game. Green Bay versus the New York Jets. The Packers will win. Uh, the Jets are. I don't know what I don't know what to say about the Jets. I really don't. The uh, are they really the butt fumble team? They might be. They might be. Started off real promising. Gonna end the season very mediocre. Um, yeah, I'm that 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 will happen when you're you know fucking first round quarterback and Sam Darnold is out for a month. So that completely ruins that Jets team. Um, that head coach is as good as gone in a week or two. And as for the Packers, Aaron Rodgers, after being spanked on national TV against the Bears, is gonna want some redemption. Right? He, he basically lost the division with that squad. And it, it's just going to be one of those things where Rodgers is going to win. People are going to fucking fillet his dick all his goddamn, all his goddamn life. They're going to be like, oh my God, he's the greatest. Blah, 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 blah. But just a reminder, just a reminder, uh, this team isn't going anywhere. I don't think the Packers are going to make it. They're not going to go to the playoffs. They're not. All right. Embrace that shit, Packers fans. Embrace that shit. Like fucking depression. Embrace it. Now. 
Jacksonville versus Miami. What, are the, what uh, most fucking boring matchup I can fi figure out? Miami. I'm picking Miami. I don't care about this game. I really don't. Jacksonville is in a toilet rut, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Miami is fucking eight and eight. But look, let it ask them. They have nothing. They also have nothing. I really care about Miami. Now let's move on to the next game. Chicago versus San Francisco. What an interesting matchup this one. This is an interesting matchup, and and I say that for a few reasons. San Francisco beat beat fucking Seattle at home last week, right? And Chicago, uh, their defense is good, yes. But, oh my, oh my God, Mitchell Trubisky. I, I, like, that dude's a question mark. That dude is a wild card. And so, because of that, and, you know, with San Francisco just not wanting to have the number one draft pick for whatever fucking reason, right? Whatever fucking reason they want to do that for, Chicago's still going to win this. They're going to try to keep it close. San Francisco's just going to keep it close. Have Kittle fucking play his heart out. All this shit. Brita. All these fuckers. But they're not going to do shit. All right. Chicago's going to win this and just dominate this team. And Khalil Mack is just going to rub his balls all over Nick Bones. And this is going to be fun to watch. Now, the LA Rams versus Arizona Cardinals. Really? Really? Rams. Move on. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers. I almost said the Penguins. Pittsburgh Steelers versus New Orleans Saints. I'm going with Saints in, in New Orleans inside the dome, and I believe the Steelers got lucky last week, but they're winning, and they're going to get cocky again, and ju you just watch. The Steelers are going to choke this game away. Whatever some of the dignity they have this week. Now, let's move on. Against the Chiefs. Has a strong feeling against the Seattle Seahawks. <sighs> the Seattle Seahawks are going to win this game. Prime time, 5 o'clock at Seattle. National television. This is Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll's bread and butter, man. And yes, Patrick Mahomes is sensational. That offense is fire crackers man it is awesome to watch however that defense is hilariously bad at times yes you got eric barry eric uh barry back is that is that his name whatever the fuck doesn't matter but what does matter is russell wilson russell wilson is having arguably his best season of his career and yet the nfl decide to not put him in the pro bowl he has better numbers than aaron Rodgers, boys and girls flat out at russell wilson has better numbers than Aaron, Aaron fucking Rodgers. And you can fucking check that shit on Pro Football Reference right fucking now if you want to fucking bitch at me. But let me tell you what. Russell Wilson, that fucking guy, is going to be able to just channel his fucking energy like a fucking Rasengan up in this shit and destroy that Kansas City defense this weekend. It's going to be beautiful to watch. And so... Hopefully, Seattle just need that win. Just need one more win to clinch a playoff spot. Okay? If we get the win, we are in the playoffs. I have said all throughout the fucking beginning and the preseason that he will never make it to the playoffs. I am wrong. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm glad I'm wrong. I'm glad I'm wrong, though. But, hey, it's good. Let's get this win, Seahawks. Now, last game, Monday Night Football. Good God, and this is a matchup for Monday Night Football. Denver Broncos versus Oakland. Why do I have, a fe why do I have the feeling this game is going to go into overtime and Denver's barely going to win this one? Why do I have that feeling? I don't know. Because Oakland kind of plays, kind of plays, but they really don't. Now, the other huge thing about Oakland that I think no one's really going to really talk about it, except, you know, we're going to talk about it because, you know, there's fucking trolls everywhere. Nathan Peterman. Peter Meme. is an Oakland Raiders now. They have fucking embraced this tank shit. I swear to God, if they trade Derek Carr, it's going to be fucking great. It's going to be hilarious to watch. As for Denver, you guys choked your fucking mojo away. Let that sink in. Broncos. You let that shit sink in. How embarrassing. Now, guys. That's my fucking picks for this week. Let me know what you guys think. Follow me on all the subscription below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily contents. Now, fuck off.